think when NBC called it, what was it, like 21, 22% of the... I thought, here we go again, America. It's always this big game of deception and m the military, industrial, media complex. That's what I thought. What are your thoughts on CNN here? That they're a tool of the war machine and that they lie to the people in cahoots with the politicians and the war makers. What was your problem with them last night? My problem with them last night is that they were calling it over in front of my house, my capital, in my state. Who are these people? They're not even from Wisconsin. And they're calling it over with a smile on their face. That is my problem with CNN. What, do you guys, what happens next for you guys? Oh, who knows? We're working on paying rent and, and raising children and, you know, people, some people are going to sing songs and, and pretend like it's okay. That's what those people are doing over there. Um, other, to, you know, make them feel better. Other people are going to get really angry. Um, it's not like we're organized, you know, and it's not because anarchists are against organization. I am an anarchist and I'm in favor of organization. They try to destroy our organizing and they do a good job of it. And that's why we're pissed. And that's why you can use that always as a weapon. Our anger is a weapon that you use. You know, oh, look at the angry, violent protesters. Well, I'm angry because this society is broken and there's no way to fix it and you keep blaming me, you know? And, and black women with children that are on welfare or whatever. It's like, no, actually that's not who we should be blaming. We need to all look at ourselves. We all need to be leaders. Each one of us is a leader or should develop those leadership qualities because I'm not in charge. You know what I mean? You ask me what's next? I don't know. I'm sad. I'm really depressed. I hardly, I didn't even want to come out here because I knew that the Solidarity Sing Along would just be singing and not, you know, going up to the offices of the politicians and saying, hey, um, you called uh, the end of the, the recall last night. You conceded when all the votes weren't even in, you know? Like, if you concede before the votes are in, that increases the the thought that something's going on behind the scenes and you want to engender trust within the population, not suspicion, especially in a situation like this. You know, it's like an insult. It's like a slap in our face. It's like saying, oh, be obedient now. Just go back to what you're doing. The recall's over. We concede I'm such a good man. I'm going to be a big guy. And as if it's between two guys, you know, what politician A and politician B, you know, it's Anyway, it's very frustrating to be an anarchist in America, let me tell you. And the more frustrated I get, the more mean you guys become towards me, and I really hate that. So anyway. What would you like to, what would you like to see happen, and what are you afraid is going to happen within the next few months? What I would like to see happen is mass rebellion. I mean, people rising up and, and channeling their rage into positive beautiful, poetic, amazing, creative energy, which I saw a little bit of that last night. I saw a whole lot of that when we took over the Capitol in February and March of 2011. Um, that's what I would like to see. I would see, I'd like to see a return to that energy of cooperation, organizing, people helping each other out, people getting food for each other, um, saying, we don't agree with our government and if we stand together then we will we win and we can be forceful and take over this space because it's our space that house that government is our government that government does not own me i own that government and so i would like for people to have that attitude and come together that's what i would like to see what i think is probably going to see is that the tactics of the government and the military industrial media complex work and people are depressed they're divided we are so worn down we we are so tired and and mad and and reduced you know torture tactics and military tactics work you know and then just blame the victim because i'm angry and i'm tired and i'm gonna like look haggard or something because you know i've just not got my community anymore you know unless i just want to go to sh church and sing hymns 
and be quiet and just sing hymns, then I've got community. But how real is that? You know, like they're they're destroying our livelihood, which is the air and the water and the and the soil and the ecosystems. It's being destroyed by the military industrial media complex. And I'm not gonna just sit around as an individual, I'm not gonna just sit around and watch TV and eat McDonald's and soothe the wound. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I love Miles. Miles is my comrade and he's also a fighter. And so he and I will at least have our own little duo. And Margaret Mead said it and, and she said, never um, question what a small group of citizens can do to change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And and there are small groups of citizens in Madison and in Wisconsin that I have a lot of faith and trust in our in our spark and our dignity, you know, our, our respect for ourselves to, to rise up in the best way that we can. And may it be graceful and poetic and beautiful so that all of the cops just take off of their riot suits, you know. There was this beautiful um, chant in Chicago. I went down to Chicago to protest NATO and there were riot cops in front of the mayor's house and they looked all mean and menacing, you know. And one, and we all started dancing and saying, hey, hey, wait, what did we say? We said, you're sexy, you're cute, take off that riot suit. You're sexy, you're cute, take off that riot suit. You know, so that rage that I feel can be channeled into beauty and delight and humor. And that's what was happening during the Capitol uprising a year and a few months ago. And they don't want that to happen because that means that we're getting organized and we're, you know, self-determining and none of that is what they want. They want us to be obedient and I'm not obedient. Nobody, I am the master of myself. I rule myself and nobody else rules me, you know, so. Yeah.